Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 141, part two. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my College website link and you can download the workbook Magic Tricks 133 to 145. Hey, in this trick, we want to see how to create a series of dates starting with today and then adding 10 days. But every time we want to open this workbook, we want it to update. So instead of today's date when we open it tomorrow it's got tomorrow's date and then these are 10 days following that date so we use the today function and the row function equals today and if we just do today like that and control enter that just puts today's date this function up here if I hit F2 you can see it there an argumentless function and it just automatically every day it turns to a new day it puts the new date there but what we'll do is we'll add now we could do this at plus 0, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3. But instead, um, we're starting in, we'll use the row function, and we'll, that'll automatically increment by 1 as we uh, go up here. Plus row. Now, if we do row right now, it's going to add 2, and we don't want to do that. 1, 2. And we really would like to, if we subtract use this row function it's going to add 2 but really we want a 0 here so if we subtract 2 now notice if we started in A1 we'd subtract 1 if we started in A4 we'd subtract 4 and you gotta be careful when using this formula construct if you insert a row above A1 this formula will be one day off so this is formula works when you're no longer going to insert uh, rows up here now um, And this will work all the way down. When we get to row um, 3 here, it'll automatically have 3 minus 2, which is exactly what we want. We want it to increment by 1, and then 2, and then 3. So control enter, and then we'll click and drag it down. We'll check and see if it worked. And sure enough, 7, 8, 9, exactly right. Now, um, this is for when you want a day to update. If you didn't want it to update, then that would be silly to do that. You'd come over here and you do the keyboard shortcut for today's date, which is control semicolon. And then you'd, you know, click and drag it down and it would automatically increment. So control plus semicolon, that's one of the best keyboard shortcuts ever. It is for uh, today's date. But a static date. Yeah, that didn't work. I meant to go like that. Control semicolon. Um, but that formula there works right there. Every time you open this one, we open this tomorrow. This is going to be 28. This is going to be the 29. All right, we'll see you next trick.